Oh, Jack, I, I was so afraid when you didn't come. I, I didn't know what... All to... right. I'm here now. What do you want? Jack, I'm your wife. I can't go, go on living with Pa, sneaking off to see you. I've kept it secret as long as I can. Please, Jack, let's tell Pa. Maybe you should listen to the old fool. Been figuring that head up Wyoming way. I'm not coming back. But what about... What about me? This isn't very safe country for a woman out alone. That's the only reason I... Just go away, you hear me? Ma'am, I'm Sheriff Pat Garrett of Lincoln County. If there's any trouble, if there's any way I can help... No, I... Yeah, hold on. No, will you please? Please, go away! She's wounded. A bullet grazed a bed. I did what I could for her, but she needs a doctor. Oh, my husband died three months ago. You knew that, didn't you, Pat? Yes, I'm sorry, but I heard a new man had taken over his practice. Well, Dr. Parsons was due here yesterday, but... There's another doctor for 50 miles, well, I I'll see what I can do. I've helped my husband often enough. Hey, give me a hand. We'll take her inside. Yeah, I'll take him. Parsons, Mrs. Baines. Come on in. We've been hoping you'd get here. I'm Sheriff Pat Garrett. There's a girl inside trying to shoot herself. She needs you. Oh, here, Dr. Parsons. How long has she been unconscious? About four hours. She moved at all? No. What's on this compress? An ointment my husband always uses to help stop bleeding. What's in it? Well, I'm not sure. He prepared it himself, and there was still some... You mean you don't even know what you put on the wound? Now, just a minute. My husband... I'm going to need some hot water to clean the wound and to wash my hands. Would you get it, please? Of course. Doctor, I know Mrs. Baines meant to do the right thing, and her husband was a good doctor. Oh, was he, Sheriff? Well, I doubt if there's a good doctor west of the Mississippi, except possibly me. And I've got a lot to learn. Immodest as well as rotten tempered. Just honest. I graduated from medical school a year ago. 
That means I've had the benefit of knowing what's happened in medicine the last five years. Do you know what's happened? <laughs> Almost everything that doctors have been practicing for a thousand years has been proved wrong. We don't bleed our patients half to death now to get rid of the bad blood. And we don't raise blisters on the skin to draw out all the body poisons. And we don't dose them with vile concoctions handed down from the dark ages. I say we. The doctors out here, they've been here for 20 or 30 years. They're a little better than frauds. But they don't have any laws out here to keep it from practicing, from butchering their fellow man. And Dr. Baines never butchered anyone. Then he's the exception. What made you decide to come west? Well, you could call it my humanitarian dedication. Or you could say that patients back east weren't sick enough to put up with my charming personality. In this town, if they want a doctor, I'm it. Now, if you'll excuse me, Sheriff, I'd like to examine the patient. <laughs> Sure, pig headed young man in my life. Coming in here like he was. Oh, if it weren't for that girl in there, I. Hey, he's probably just all tired out from the long ride into town. Well, will you find his own way around? I'll be packed and gone by tomorrow. I'm thankful Edward isn't here to see him take over. How is you, Doctor? Well, the wound's going to be all right, but I gave her a complete examination, and, uh... What do you know about her, Miss Baines? Well, nothing, except that I've seen her around town. She ever come see your husband? No, why? She's pregnant. What? Seven or eight months. But she doesn't look as if she... I know, but she bound and strapped herself so that it wouldn't show. <sighs> she could have killed the child. Well, it's alive. The heart beats sound, although I doubt it could have lived much longer under those conditions. Why did you stop me? Be quiet and save your strength. I don't care. I... Well, you better start caring for your baby, if not for yourself. I took the bindings off, and you're going to leave them off. No. You strap yourself up again like that and you'll kill that baby. I don't care. I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, that baby has a right to be born whether you want it or not. It's his baby and I hate it. I hate everything about him. Go away. Please go away. Oh, let the girl alone. She doesn't know what she's saying. I'll stay here till she calms down. She's right, Doctor. You can't talk to her while she's like this. All right, I'll give her a sedative and talk to her later. Well, I haven't made much of a success out of myself since I came to this town, have I, Sheriff? First day. Managed to antagonize everyone I met, including you. The sedative finally took effect. She seems to be drifting out to sleep now. Did you find out anything about her? No. No, but I think I've placed her. You know, I'm almost positive she's Judd Marlowe's daughter. Her name's Mary. Judd Marlowe? Oh, he has a ranch somewhere up in the valley. He hardly ever comes into town. Well, maybe we ought to talk to him and find out. I won't be able to help you. I don't want your help. I don't want anything. Now just let me go. I don't want the baby. I don't want to live. What do you think you're doing? Stay out of this. Now look, you tell me what's going on. This is my patient. Now you keep your hands off of me. You heard him, Santi. Who does he think he is coming in here stirring up trouble? What kind of a doctor is he? Santi, this is none of your business. Now everybody, move along. Come on, out of the way. 
I don't know about the rest of you, but that doctor won't be around here very long if it's up to me. Well, I've given her a stronger sedative. She'll have trouble fighting that off. It will be best to have someone watch her close. I'll stay with her tonight. Well, that'll help, Miss Baines. She needs someone close to her. Maybe her father can help. If we could only reach her father. I know the road. If I start right now, I can have him here early tomorrow. Dr. Parsons is here, Mary. Everything will be fine. Doctor, give me something. Let me die. I don't want any more pain. Please, I want to die. Chloroform. Now just breathe. Breathe deeply. Breathe hard. Then you believe in easing a woman's birth pains? Of course I do. As much as I can. Although it slows up the birth. I just hope this baby doesn't come too early. His heartbeat is around 180. Normal's about 120, isn't it? I'm going to examine him, Miss Baines. fast, there's pain, slight hemorrhage. The placenta separated prematurely. It's caused by her binding herself up like that. Internal bleeding. There's nothing you can do, is there? She and the baby will both die. Could be an hour. At the most a day. If I was just back east at a hospital, even then. Miss Baines. Miss Baines, I want to try something. I'm going to need a large one. The largest room in town. And some acid. Carbolic acid. Every gallon I can get my hands on. I got my instruments. I'll do all I can. Is, is there anybody else here in town that could help us? Well, there's, there's only the barber, but all he does is pull teeth. Maybe he knows something about anesthesia. I have it done by tomorrow by noon. Can't wait any longer than that. You're going to operate. Yes, I am, Miss Baines. Mrs. Baines, this is Mary's father, Mr. Morrow. Where is she? Upstairs. Some men are bringing her down. The doctor's with her. He's... All right, bring her down easy. Come on, watch the step. Oh, Mary. Mary. Oh, I, I didn't want you to... We looked everywhere for you. Why didn't you tell us? After I ran off, I couldn't. All right, men, let's go. Take her on over there. I'm sorry, mister, but this is urgent. Where are you taking her? Well, I'm glad you got here in time. You can give the legal permission for the operation. Come on, Miss Bain. Operation? She's having a baby, isn't she? What do you mean, operation? Well, I'm going to have to attempt a cesarean section on your daughter. What's that? What are you talking about? I'm going to have to take the baby. Now, by surgery, or it'll die. Surgery? You mean you're going to cut my gal open? That's right. I never heard of such a thing. I don't want you cutting on my daughter. Well, look, I don't care what you want. I know what has to be done. Look. Women have been having babies around here for a long time. She'll have that baby like they do. I already told you she can't have it that way. If I don't operate, the baby will die. They'll both die. I got no way of knowing that's right or not. That's just your opinion. I heard of too many people dying under the knives of some fool doctor. I'm taking her home. Wait, I'll wait, get some doctor now. Pass her to look at. Look, I can't sacrifice that girl's life for this man's ignorance. Doc, I want to help you, but legally you need his permission. All right. You can charge me with murder if she dies. That's the law, isn't it? Come on, Miss Baines. Sheriff, you better stop him or I will. 
Marlowe, he says he has to do this. I believe him. I want you to sponge everything down with carbolic acid solution. Just let it soak in. I'll take care of the operating table and the patient myself. Why all the carbolic acid, Doc? Well, sometimes infections set in after an operation. We don't know why. But we do know that the use of carbolic acids help prevent those infections. We take it easy on the chloroform, just a little at a time. Dr. Parsons, a cesarean section can save the baby, but the mother. I know. There have been 80 known sections attempted in the country. Most of the mothers have died. Then why are you trying it? Don't think her father won't bring murder charges. He will. And a jury of people from around here will back him up. You think I should let her and the baby both die and just do nothing? No. But if the chances... There's a good chance of succeeding too, Miss Baines. I watched a new technique demonstrated by a Dr. Sanger. That's the method I'm going to try today. You wash her down with a solution. I'll soak the blankets. You may, that's fine. Just wait outside and keep the others out. Huh? Somehow I never thought I'd be operating in a saloon. We better get started, Miss Bain. You let him go ahead? He's in there cutting on her? Marlowe, I couldn't take responsibility for stopping him. It's not up to you. She's my daughter. And he got a right to say what's done to his own girl? Santee, you stay out of this. You don't know a thing about it. I know that fool doctor's in there trying something none of us ever heard of. Even a father don't want it done. Get out of the way, Gareth. I'm going in there before it's too late. You stay right here. Well, if you ain't man enough to stop this thing, maybe we are. How about it? Yeah. I don't want to have to draw this gun. You two men go down and get it and crush it and bring it back to me. Hurry. What's the matter, is it? My girl's dying. Well, let me go. It's written all over your face. My girl's dying, isn't she? Marlowe, turn him loose. Leave him alone, Garrett. He's got a right. You killed her. You're a butcher. Now, look, she's not dead, but she will die if I don't get back in there. You're not keeping me away from her now? It's up to us to stop this butcher. Everybody! What are you doing? Get out of here! You'll mess up this room with your filth! Go and get out of here! I'll arrest every one of you if that's what it takes. You'll have to shoot to do that, Garrett. We're staying unless you want to kill all of us. Keep him away from this table, Garrett. Any one of you takes another step into this room, I'll shoot. 
Watch it all right. Put it down here. Come on, come on. so much blood. I'll do that, Doc. I'll be a month or so before I'm back up this way again. Well, they're doing just fine up there, all three of them. I'm just saying goodbye, Mr. Baines. It's been good knowing you all these years, Pat. On your way, would you ask Seth to pick up my things this afternoon? I don't want to miss that stage east. <clears throat> Miss Baines, uh, you have something important waiting for you back east? Yes. Yes, all my relatives are back in Philadelphia. They're important. I'll be staying with them. Well, that uh, isn't what I meant exactly. Uh, what I mean is, uh, you ought to, you ought to stay here. Uh, don't you think so, Pat? Oh, yes. You want me to stay on here with you? Well, that's what I, what I said, isn't it? You think you need me? <laughs> it's not that... Uh, well, you do. You know a great deal about medicine, Doctor. But almost nothing about people. Just a minute. The head and the heart make a doctor. Now, if... If you think you have something to learn about people... from the example of a doctor like my husband... I'll be glad to stay. I... I, uh... took the liberty of... Putting his picture back up back. Uh, well, somehow uh, the room just uh, it didn't seem right without him. Pat, uh, listen, thanks for everything. Good luck, Doc. Good luck to you too, Mr. Vance. 